Let's get the boring products out the way, shall we? Two bottles, Nevia's Moisturizing Body Wash. This is my body wash of life. Yes, body wash, it's wonderful. It doesn't act up with eczema. You'll usually see that in my empties, that and the uh, body lotion as well. Now this is something that's new to the empties, but it's also new to me. It's Equate, which is Walmart Spram. This is our sunscreen SPF 50 Sport. And this is the reason why I picked this one up. My friend who is actually like a pro athlete, Olympics training and so forth, this is what she uses. We did a lot of activities out in the sun this summer and swimming and all that good stuff. So both my son and I used this up and I figured, you know, if, if it works for her and all of her training and Olympics and so forth. This is probably something that's worth to give it a shot. I only have two supplements for this month. I have my Alive, well from the brand Nature's Way, Alive Once Daily Women's Ultra. This is the one that I prefer. I always get the Ultra one. And then I have the RX Omega 3 by Natural Factor. So I tend to always just pick the same brands. The supplements work for me. They've been approved by my doctor. This is Neutrogena's Pore Refining Toner. Needs no introduction. This is my toner of life for AM use, pore refining toner, and I've talked about it so many times in the skincare videos. So definitely check the playlist if you are interested to hearing a little bit more about it. That toner is a active toner, so keep that in mind if you're looking at something like that. And I would not recommend using it twice a day. Pick it as far as which one you wanna use, AM, PM. I always do AM, but make sure you keep that in mind that it's an active toner. This is my refill of my liquid gold. Love it, love it. Now it already went into my bottle. Uh, this is the new one that I picked out. This is the uh, the blue one. And the blue version one is the same properties as that white bottle version of my Hada Lava Lotion. Another thing on the playlist that I talk a lot about. But this one is actually, it's more of a radiant one. So it has the vitamin C properties in it to help the skin. And it also has additional added um, ingredients of the forms of hyaluronic acid. I think it's about five different types, if I'm not mistaken. I finished a tube of my Total Tees CoverGirl Mascara. Well, CoverGirl's Total Tees Mascara. This is my favorite of all time bottom lash mascara. I will not switch and I get scared. Of course, that CoverGirl's gonna discontinue it, but I've already picked out, I already uh, purchased a new one, so here's what the, uh, the new packaging looks like. And Very Black is the shade I wear, and I absolutely love it. I don't like how my top lashes look, like it does nothing for my top lashes, but the bottom lashes, out there and curled over like, you know, claws. Ugh. Love it. Next is my So AE Replenishing Cucumber Mist. There's just something about the rose one that I really see a difference in my skin. I don't know what it is, but I really like that. I did finish a pair of lashes from Ardell. This is one of my favorite styles. So I do have like certain numbers that work well for my eye shape and, and so forth. 105 is one of them. Just something where you want a little bit of added glamour, but not so out there. Next is a rosehip oil that I finished up. This is a 100% natural rosehip beauty oil and it's from the brand Sensuals or something like that. I think I got this from Marshalls. I want to say I got it from Marshalls. Now every time I've gone back to Marshalls I have not been able to find just a regular rosehip. I don't want rosehip with vitamin E added or all this other stuff. I don't want it with coconut oil. Like I always find one that has something else added to it. And it's difficult for me just to find a regular plain old rose hip. So I think I'm just gonna have to order it online. But I like the rose hip oil for AM use for my skincare routine because it is giving me that natural form of an antioxidant since I don't use vitamin C during the day, I use it for night. And it's a beauty oil, so it's a carrier oil. So I want that added hydration. Next item is from Suwasu. This is their first care activating serum. This is an item that I was able to pick out from my Octoly store. So at that time I received it, well I did, I get it, I get it uh, complimentary to try out. And I really did like this and I used every drop, every drop, 
I would drop. <laughs> I really did like this. What I've come to realize with this brand is I feel that it is, first off, a what I would say like a luxury Korean brand, like it's up there with like the more Pacifics and so forth. But it has a blend of herbs in it that works well with my skin but it also does not irritate as well. Like I just did not have any type of a breakout or anything, but it was just a form of an anti-ager that I could see results. Exactly like the title for this product, Activating Serum. I like to think of it like, well, an active serum. So let's say I am having like a form, like a concentrated liquid. It just so happens to be in the serum texture. And it has just, it's got the science in it, the Korean science, it's got the herbs. And the herbs are just kind of targeting in that natural uh, way, whatever type of an anti-aging properties, of course, that it's trying to market to us. This is definitely like, like in the back of my mind. Like this is something I want to repurchase as well as to look at a few other items that they have in their lineup. This item I know I'm not going to get full size of and I'm not going to purchase on my own. This is from Tatcha. This is the water cream. Now this is like a deluxe size sample. Here's the thing with Tatcha because Tatcha's kind of funny because I've been using Tatcha well before it became popular to use this brand. Then all of a sudden they just kind of just emerged out of nowhere and started um, reaching out more social media, being with influencers, and then suddenly their products are now like everywhere, right? Here's the thing with them. I'm someone who's used practically everything from the line. Some of their products are what I would consider hit or miss. It's a product that, yes, it works good, but I personally don't feel it's worth money. The price because I can find that in something else. I know it's out there, especially from either a Korean or a Japanese line. This is Japanese, you know, it's going to be offered at a much lower cost with probably a much higher science backing behind it. And of course, it was being targeted also to use as let's say as a primer. This is before their uh, their new one, the one that's in that big tub primer. So use it as a primer on your skin, moisturize your skin, prep your skin before you put on foundation and for all skin types. I tried it a few times like that and it, it was worse. I do not like this cream in any way, shape or form as a skin prep. I don't feel it makes the foundation look good. It, in a sense, changes the texture of that foundation and probably how that foundation would actually work. I just, I don't like how it looked on my skin. This is funny, this is the next item that I brought out because this is something I would I would recommend from the drugstore. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, so hyaluronic acid. This is what I would pick if you want that dose of water, that cream, that, that Tatcha cream-like feel, but from uh, the drugstore or anywhere retailer Neutrogena is sold. So there's that big tub right here. And then I have a couple of these in like travel sizes. So I wanna definitely use the, those up. This is wonderful. If you have dry skin, this is just gonna, your skin will drink it up. Sometimes what I would do, and this is kind of like a little tip too, if you want that like highlighted glow on your skin and it's gonna kind of stay there, is wherever you want to really highlight, just put an extra dose of this cream on and you're gonna have like that slick look, but it's really the light is reflecting off this so it's not gonna absorb into your skin because you have a little bit more of a layer on top. Again, I'm just going off on tangents, but it's just a little bit of a trick that I also have been using that cream for. I did finish a sample of a mascara. This is from Guerlain. Is it Guerlain? Yeah, Guerlain. Seals de Infu. So, volume. Come on, just, I'm just going to say the English. Maxi Lash Intense Volume Deep Black Mascara. This is so good. So good. So good to the fact I'd be like, <laughs> would I buy a full price? I would at the 20% off for Sephora, and if I needed more mascaras, which I don't need, it's such a good mascara. This gives you that big old doll-like lashes just 
out there. It's it's an amazing brush. I do enjoy that one. I think I've talked about that one before too in the channel. I believe I have. It's a great mascara. This is ColourPop's um, Cream Gel Liner. I got so tired of just turning this and then the product would just fall out. So I'm just over it. And it just kept falling on the ground and I got so tired of it. So I'm done. I'm done with it. I have other... Um, you know, water liner, pencils that I like, jet black, and they say put, and I don't have to worry about them falling. Speaking of quality issues, I'm not buying it anymore. It's the Dip Brow from ABH. And why I'm no longer doing it is I am over my little hack thing that I did with my tape here. Sides of the uh, container has popped off. And I'm not hard on my products. I'm not. I don't go, you know, with superhuman strength trying to close it. I don't do stuff like that. Same with my dip, uh, not dip brow, my brow wiz. Like the spoolie part always snaps off. It does, I just makes no sense to me and it's so annoying. Especially with ABH, because I mean, okay, it has a price to it. Uh-uh, it should not be doing that. It shouldn't. So even though I had this kind of tape, I'm thinking, well, why did it dry it out? But now that I'm looking at it, I can see obviously like there's a little bit of a corner up there where the air is getting in and it dried it out. I'm not trying to revive it because it's going to stay that way. It's just going to dry out again in the future and I'm over it. I'm over it. My last item is something that I pulled out. Well, it actually fell out of my container and I'm glad it fell because I said, you know, this is really old, one. And second is I barely use it, two. And I have other items that I use now, let's say specifically for tear duct shades and I don't, I don't need to keep it. So this is from Kat Von D and it's her shade Peanut. So Peanut was in a palette that broke and I only kind of reached in that palette for that one shade and so I just use it as like loose powder now and I would use it as tear duct and sometimes eyeshadow and all that good stuff but I'm just letting it go it's it's old and lately when I when I see her name I frown a lot of stuff just makes it like it'll go in my head and I don't when I'm putting on my makeup now I, I want to think happy thoughts and I want to be happy and it might sound silly but you know some of us are just odd like that and so I'm just like mm. and it's been happening I noticed lately like I'll be out shopping I'll be looking at things and I see her products or her packaging and I'm just like I just I just glaze over it just there's there's things about her as an individual that I don't particularly care for and items with her um, background that I don't particularly care for. So peanut is going in the trash and like I said I, I have other items that I specifically use for the tear duct so I'm not gonna miss it. I'm not gonna miss it. And that is it. Not a lot. Not a lot of products but you know that's what's going in the trash for this month. Purging a lot. And of course, wanted to share with you. It's lunchtime. I am off to eat some soup, a little bit of salad, and get this video up because I like Wednesday uploads. I do thank you for stopping by and watching and your patience while I get another video up on the channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, hopefully feeling better. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.